the Honorable Nancy Pelosi of the State of California, having received a majority of the votes cast, is duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives for the 116th Congress. And to the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, I extend to you this gavel. Thank you. I respect you and the constituents who sent each and every one of us here. They expect and deserve for us to try to find our common ground, and we must try to do that. Stand our ground where we can't, but always extend the hand of friendship. And in that spirit, Democrats will be offering the Senate Republican appropriations legislation to reopen government later today. We will follow our, our mandate for the people to lower health care costs and prescription drug prices and protect people with pre-existing medical conditions. <laughs> to increase paychecks by rebuilding America with green and modern infrastructure from sea to shining sea. We look forward to working with the President on that. To pass HR1, to restore integrity to government so that people can have confidence that government, in a government that works for the people, not the special interest. This House will take overdue legislation that has bipartisan support, bipartisan support in the Congress and across the country. We will make our community safer and keep our sacred promise to the victims and survivors and families of gun violence by passing common sense, bipartisan, background check legislation. We will make America fairer by passing the Equality Act to end discrimination against the LGBTQ community. And we will make America more American by passing our, by protecting our patriotic, courageous dreamers. I'd like to call my grandchildren up to be here when I take the oath. Yes. And any other children who want to join them. Come on, kids. <laughs> <laughs> if the gentlewoman from California would please raise her right hand, which you're doing, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, Madam Speaker. I now call the House to order on behalf of all of America's children. Go kids!